that's not a bad sight for Easter Sunday morning, eight o'clock. The sun rises. Every Easter Sunday in the Evangelical Church, <coughs> in the middle of the service, well, actually, no, <coughs> at the very beginning of the service, the vicar or the, the pastor, whatever you want to call him, he would say to the congregation, the Lord is risen exclamation mark and with one voice the congregation would say back he is risen indeed exclamation mark well it's the perfect day on the Camino to step out into any new understanding of that perhaps there's something really rather festive about these trees. I'm guessing they're orange trees. I don't know for sure, but we are in Spain. And nicely painted up for Easter Sunday and decorated with white flowers. Somebody's gone to a lot of trouble to decorate them like that. And to the right, a la derecha, off the, off the road, onto the path. I can't tell you what a delight it is to be walking in the still cool of the morning. It's still only nine o'clock. I've been walking for an hour. I've actually only just caught up the three kilometers, four kilometers I was short yesterday, but that's okay. In fact, todo bien, all is okay. Look at this lovely path ahead you can see. You can see the, the shadow on the road. And the path ahead. No great thoughts this Easter Sunday morning. It is enough to be here. If you have never thought about your own Camino, whichever path you choose to tread, or you have thought about it and not actually set out, I really would encourage you because mornings like this are so precious. In the Gospel of St. Thomas, there's a very strange saying of Jesus, allegedly, I have to say, because it's it didn't uh, pass the cut into the New Testament, as did many other Gospels of the first century. But in Thomas, Jesus says something like, until the outer becomes as the inner and the male becomes as the female you will never enter the kingdom of god no idea what that means it's certainly not a knowing of the head i suspect 
when you're a little bit more advanced, it's an understanding of the heart. Oh, look, a Pellegrino Fuente, a water fountain for the pilgrims. Let's see if we can give it a, a prime. Oh, and look, there's a stone spiral as well. That would be a nice thing to do, a little meditation walk. I'll see if this works. Ah, but it says it's, it's, it's no potable. That doesn't mean you can't, it doesn't mean you can't take it away. It means it's not drinkable. And here's, here's that lovely spiral. Again, I can encourage you. Uh, if you've not walked to the spiral from the outer to the inner, well, well, blow me down. If there isn't, there's the entrance. If there isn't a direct comparison <laughs> until the outer becomes the inner and the inner outer, what you need, my friend, is a spiral. Here we go. Well, happy Easter from the Camino in northern Spain between uh, Burgos and Lyon, which is this stage, about 100 miles. And uh, it's uh, Easter Sunday, so Feliz Domingo Santo. And as the Pellegrinos say to one another here, Buon Camino. Oh, look at this. This is the... Uh, Town Hall, I think, of this tiny little village on the Camino. And look what they've done to decorate the place. I don't know if this is for the village annual fete or, or just for Easter. But look, what a lovely idea. You know, I think it's so important. Right outside the church as well. Friendly dog. Oh, it might be a celebration of uh, a new baby by the looks of it. How lovely, all these, all these uh, hangings and the trees kept warm at night. How thoughtful. Well, you know, there's a lot to be said for village life or rituals. Everybody participates. The Good Friday procession in a small town. Everybody was out on the streets and the balconies. I suppose the nearest we've got in Sheffield is Tramlines Music Festival coming up in July. Look at this. Absolutely perfect new crop on the left. It's different to previous cereal crops. I think it's still a grain. I'm going to plump for barley. I don't know why. And uh, just to enjoy what it could be a film set. I suppose in a way it is a film set. It's it's the setting for the story of our life, as is your own Camino. It's just a story. Who is the director? Hola. <laughs> Sharks on the Camino, you've got to watch out. You are here. And this is where I am aiming for, or we are aiming for, in the next two and a half days walking, Leon. And I have no Easter Sunday words. It's better when they fade out and you're just left 
in your own, to marinate in your own silence sometimes, isn't it? But you are here and you are always right here, right now. How can you be any other place? And I'm re reminded of the, uh, the lines from T.S. Eliot. I'll paraphrase and, and change them a bit. There is no end to walking the Camino. And the end of all our walking will be to arrive at the beginning and know it as for the first time. So you could say the whole of the walk of, well, this time 140 kilometers, or in total 800 kilometers, is all about being here now in this next step, not even the next step, this step, and knowing it for the first time. It's a very lovely Sunday morning, uh, Easter Sunday morning. I must say, to be honest, uh, flagging is the word. It's uh, 11.30, I've been walking just about three and a half hours. And uh, yeah, yeah. The sun's pretty hot. I found myself a stick or a baton, as it's called here. So I'm feeling jaunty. The body's just uh, not responding to my encouragements this morning, which is okay. But I didn't want to uh, give the wrong impression that everything <laughs> is all hunky-dory. Well, of course it still is. This is the secret. Every place on which you're foot shall tread is already honky-dory. Oh, I nearly missed this turning. I've got a bit of a tiny sore throat and you might be able to tell uh, I'm all clogged up. Uh, what, what might you call it? A bit phlegmy this morning. But no complaining and I'm not I'm just giving you a more balanced view on day six so to keep my mind mm, occupied shall we say without rehearsing little uh, aches and pains I've been doing some sums this morning it's today's walk is excuse me, is seven, seven hours walking, which is 420 minutes. And I reckon that if I increase my walking speed by just 10%, I'll show you the difference between, this is my normal uh, perambulation speed, when, at least when I'm, when I'm a little bit tired. I'll, but I'll just give it 10% extra. There we are. See, nothing to it. It's just uh, the application of a little maths to the mind. And so in seven hours, I'll get to today's destination about 40 minutes sooner, which is time uh, for another Kenya con limon. The other maths or math, as our American friends on the Camino, Mike and Beth, would say, uh, was when we stopped a couple of hours ago, I noticed Helene, the French woman, the back of her legs were red because we're walking west and the sun's up in the east, so back of, back of the legs, red. Have you got some cream? Some cream, I ask, in my best French which is also my worst French. <laughs> and no. <laughs> Je n'avais pas. <laughs> so, but she still, I offered her some cream, but she said no, she went on ahead. And 
round the corner there's a nice Albayesh coffee stop. Unusually are open on a, a sort of public holiday Sunday. So we've both stopped and I just plonked the sun cream in front of her and she looked and nodded and so she's put some on and she offered me a coffee. So she bought me a Cortado, which I think cost her one euro. And she must have used only about five mil out of the hundred mil of my Factor 60 sun cream. So mil per hundred, that's 20, 20 times. So I reckon that one euro Cortado coffee uh, was valued at 20 euros. That's the, that was the value of the cream to her. What do you think to my math? There's a lovely old, oh my goodness me, I want to say Franciscan chapel. I don't know if it's Franciscan Benedictine or Real Madrid chapel coming up now. But I'll switch off, I'll show you if it's something to see. Well, this is rather lovely. A stone bridge, I don't know how ancient, but it looks like a pack horse bridge. It's certainly not uh, a road bridge. Well, certainly not anymore with that post. This is the way, walk in it. So, it reminds me of another chorus. Walk in the light, walk in the light, walk in the light, walk in the light of God. So, looks like there's some uh, excavation, what do you call it, for ancient buildings, archaeological dig going on here. Don't know how old that is, I'm going to guess 12th century. What do you reckon? And there's some statues coming up. Well, it's clearly used for something inside. Let's go and have a look at these statues. Most of the towns, large and small, and villages have these. Uh, they call them uh, area de servicio, which doesn't which doesn't mean toilet area, but I think it means rest area. <sighs> Service your needs, so you can have a picnic there. They're architectural uh, designs are rather incongruous, don't you think? Bit of a tank trap, that looks like to me. Some more over there. Man with dog. Well, I think I've sort of got it. This place is called Sahagun, and it says on these pillars, which are not ancient, by the way, uh, Centro Geografico del Cabino. So, um, congratulations. We are just about to cross the equator. Well, the halfway mark, rather, of the Camino. And I reckon there's about 300 and 80, maybe 390 kilometers left to Santiago from here. So, <laughs> more math this morning. Uh, 2 times 39 is uh, 62, 78. The uh, total distance about 780 kilometers, which is the, the uh, Camino Francaise. The French route. I started in Le Puy in the south of France in 2005. Went to Bilbao and then in 2010 uh, I did Bilbao to Burgos. And now 2022 I'm doing Fingers crossed, feet crossed, everything crossed. Burgos to Leon. I did 
it is tough this morning uh, truth be told uh, I even had a thought I could pull up sticks here get the bus to Lyon and then the train back to Bilbao save a couple of days today I call myself El Ultimo Pellegrino I am just on my last legs shuffling into into this uh, town can't even be bothered to remember what it's called I'm sure it's lovely and I think I am the last of today's pilgrims to shuffle into town apparently there is a Easter Sunday procession presumably from the church but I think I'm going to miss that because it started at 12 noon and it's already 10 past but am I bothered? No I will be happy It's called Sahagun or Sagun this town and I'm just glad to be here after gosh four and a half hours walking I notice I am deliberately staying in the shade when I'm in England um, I always choose to walk on the sun sunny side of the street I do I I will always cross over out of choice but here it's the other way around a bit of shade the only German I know is Schattenzeit. Don't ask me why. Shady side, by the way. I know how you feel, mate. You look like I feel. Like the tin man on the yellow brick road. Have a heart. You know, that's a lovely touch. This is Pellegrino water in plastic bottles on somebody's front door, just in the, the outskirts of the town. And I'm sure that's for us to uh, top up our water if, if we need to. The town is very quiet because it's Easter Sunday. And more so, I would say, than in England, Spanish families, they do like their fiestas, which is a family time. And if it wasn't for the tourists, everything would be shut down. It's uh, Easter Sunday here in this little town. <coughs> and as I expected, everybody is out on the on the square in the cafes and bars notice families all together kids playing on the swing yes but everybody joining in the uh, the Sunday celebration most people dressed up in their finery as we say uh, because it's a uh, it's a religious festival and I love the way they all come out to play in the sun or the shade as it as the case may be I prefer the shade on a day like today this is a Spanish public holiday favorite pastime and why not all the your families out in the bars and of course there must be a procession, hurrah! With a brass band, hurrah, hurrah! And here we go. I can see the Virgin Mary in her black shroud. Let's have a closer look. You see, I didn't miss the procession after all. And I've just had a little just had a little siesta on a on a bench in the square 
It's got a lot to commend itself, I would say, the Spanish way. Genuinely, I think this is a good thing, capital G, capital T, for all time, capital F, capital A, capital T, as an act of the community's solidarity, communality, shared tradition, shared, shared, shared history, fabulous, I absolutely love it, it's what cements a Pueblo community together and I love it. Uh, what has it got to do with the actuality of Jesus' resurrection? It's a commemoration. That's a good thing. Any ritual that commemorates important things is good. I honestly can't find the distinction between Republic celebration and superstition.
this is a nice touch. This is just a hoarding as a building site behind and they've gone to the trouble of applying these exquisitely designed, realistic characters on the way. It really is a very important part of region's life here, of the region's life here, the Camino. Over coffee in the alberge, the TV was on at seven o'clock in the morning, heaven help us. And uh, I happened to spot one of their news items was that um, tourist occupation of hotels in alberge is back up between 80 and 100%. Here we go, by following my nose, dis detracted by the, by the procession, I, I have found my way back onto the yellow brick road. And here's, well, that's a, un sigo creando en las finales felices. I believe that everything will end up in a happy fiesta. And so do I. Just looking for ants or beetles crossing my path so I don't uh, step on them which is a good exercise of attention I mean I'm no Jane but then I'm no Tarzan but simple paying attention to each step ahead in case I tread on a beetle, say, or a, a row of ants just doing their thing. Why should they suffer? Because I am not paying attention. Love is the answer, says Russell Kenny. But what is the question, Russell? How far is it to Becaradio? Well, my next stop, I'm exhausted. And the answer is love. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll love the way then, Kenny. I have been very kind to my feet. And my feet have been very kind to me to it's, I won't say more just now because I'm absolutely cream crackered at the end of um, an eight hour walk today. I'm so looking forward to the alberge, which is just ahead, about two kilometers. Oh, look at this lovely. Fiesta River tractor. What's going on here? Oh, it's just a farmer. Happy Easter!